Donnie, what is Show and Shine all about? Well, basically, it's a stage. Show and Shine is basically a stage for competitors to come through with their vehicles. Uh, they judge on like uh, the appeal of the car, overall appeal, uh, yeah. rims and tires, paintwork, uh, sound setups. If, as a judge, what would you be looking for in a car entered in this competition? Well, judges look for individuality, uh, the overall appeal of the uh, vehicle, uh, what modifications have been done and the effort and time uh, put into modifying the vehicle. What are the trends at the moment? What the trends right now is uh, you've got carbon fiber wraps, you've got like uh, rims and tires and uh, fancy paint jobs, uh, uh, boot, uh, boot setups uh, with uh, in incorporating uh, multimedia into it. What advice would you give to somebody who wants to start off in this form of competition and be competitive? A guy starting off in the show and shine should uh, firstly uh, spend uh, what, uh, what's on his budget and what he can accommodate uh, to install into the car. Mukesh, what is SPL? Okay, SPL stands for basically sound pressure levels. By means of an amplifier and subwoofers, we create large volumes of sound in a vehicle. What makes up an SPL kit? SPL kit means, like I said earlier, a subwoofer, which will create the bass and the pressure, and then will create what they call dBs, which is decibel points in a vehicle. To obtain maximum sound pressure levels, what car is better, a sedan or a hatchback? A hatch is a better box, therefore you can get better SPL or sound pressure in a hatch. A car, because the boot is separated from the car, we battle a little bit more to get large numbers. To put things into perspective, give me an example of the loudest car in KZN. Relate that to a sound that people know. To put this into perspective to you and I, when a Concorde takes off, it takes off at a sound pressure level of 135 decibels. An average car on the floor here today will do a 149, 149 dB. So that is exactly 10 to 12 decibels louder than a Concorde. So that'll just tell you as to how enthusiastic the guys get and passionate about their sound. How would a person start off building uh, an SPL car? To start off SPL, you need, like I said, a decent subwoofer, a strong enough amplifier, as well as a lot of battery power. And you can start off with a budget of about 4,000 rands, and some of the vehicles on the floor go up to 140,000 rands. So everybody included from the little 16-year-old kid to a 16-year-old buddy like me. The show is very alive, there's a lot of cars on show, um, they're all customized to the max and um, I thank Gas Magazine to put in this great event together.
Then what inspired you all to build a diamond shop? It was something that I've always wanted and watching guys drag race uh, on the streets, I wanted to always find uh, how much of power they're making because everybody's out there modifying their cars. And how has the diner been through business in the shop? This is the second diner event that we've had. On the 27th of April was the first one, today is the second one. The exposure that we got from these events brought in a lot of customers and turnover has actually increased. And what do you all think of today's event? It went very, very well. Oh, that's fantastic. Very well put together. I'm definitely looking for this to happen again in Chatsworth. It was really well controlled. It was a big event, it was a great success and we wish that uh, this would be a regular event. We love these cars and uh, we'd like to see some more.